afternoon storms. They're back tomorrow, so enjoy this warmth while it lasts because it won't as we take you into the rest of the work week. Temperatures are going to continually cool down Friday, looking to be the coolest day of the next seven days. But for the time being, a beautiful afternoon and soon to be evening to take a stroll through Manitou Springs. Current temperature there, 76 degrees. Best chance for storms here over the next couple of hours will be up across the high country, but even those are going to wind down as we take you through about 10 o'clock. Now, the best chance for storms will be up over the mountains, but can't completely rule out a sprinkle moving across the Colorado Springs area, at least through the evening and into the first part of tonight. We'll track that closely, but that will be the exception rather than the rule. Most areas are going to stay dry over the next couple of hours. Taking you into tonight, dry conditions expected as well. If you are heading out tonight, temperatures will be mild. We should see enough breaks in the clouds to see the what people are calling double star, which is when Jupiter and Venus are going to get very close to each other, making it look like just one huge bright star. So check that out in the skies tonight. Should be able to get a view of it, especially through early tomorrow morning. That's when skies are going to clear out a bit more. By 7 a.m., we'll have a mixture of clouds and sunshine across southern Colorado, but then clouds are going to thicken up as we take you into tomorrow afternoon. Around 2 o'clock, that's when we should start to see the first storms popping up across the high country. And in Teller County, places like Woodland Park under the gun for storms beginning at 2 o'clock. Storms will continue to drop south and east through 4 o'clock, bringing those storm chances into Colorado Springs and over the Waldo Canyon burn scar. With the potential for some heavy rain with storms that do develop tomorrow, flooding is going to be a concern and flash flooding will also be a concern, so we'll be tracking both of those threats very closely. Taking you into the evening, by 6 o'clock, storms are going to drop south into Canyon City as well as Pueblo. So Pueblo, tomorrow evening, that will be the best chance for you to get some of that heavy rain. Taking you into tomorrow night, by 8 o'clock and into 9 o'clock, southern parts of the I-25 corridor really getting targeted. Storms will last into the first part of tomorrow night, moving out across the plains by midnight. So from Burlington to Lamar, south into Springfield, that's where we'll have the best chance for storms by midnight tomorrow night. Temperatures tonight remaining quite mild. 63 degrees in Colorado Springs will hit 66 in Pueblo with temperatures in the mid-60s for the southeastern corner of the state. Tomorrow, high temperatures 84 in Colorado Springs will hit 84 also in Lyman with 95 to 97 in La Junta. Still very warm but just not quite as hot as it was out there today. Taking you into your seven-day forecast, we are expecting temperatures tomorrow to hit 84 degrees. We'll continually cool things down Thursday into Friday. While we could see some strong to severe storms tomorrow afternoon, Thursday looking to bring some of the strongest storms that we expect to see here over the next week. Thursday into Friday remaining quite active. Again, temperatures cooling, but the good news is just in time for the 4th of July, we'll warm back up. Just a 10% chance for storms to start off the weekend, so things looking to be a bit drier for the holiday week. Weekend. Thankfully, for those of you who have camping plans, barbecue plans, want to head outside to catch some fireworks. 93 degrees in Pueblo tomorrow. We'll drop it to 88 Thursday. Drop it a bit further on Friday. 86 degrees before we're back in the 90s for the weekend. Pueblo not looking for a good chance for rain for your Independence Day. We'll bring back rain chances though Sunday, Monday, and again on Tuesday. In Canyon City, tomorrow we'll hit a high temperature of 90 degrees. 85 on Thursday with a high temperature of 83 on Friday. We'll keep a 20 to 30 percent chance for storms in the forecast over the next couple of days before we dry out on Saturday, 90 degrees, your high temperature to start the weekend. In Teller County, 76 will be your high temperature tomorrow. We'll hit 71 on Thursday, cool it down to 69 on Friday. Looking for, again, a good chance for storms here over the next couple of days. Fairly active weather pattern setting up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday before we dry out. Calm down just a bit this weekend. I want to bring your attention. We get so many phenomenal pictures of lightning, of hail, of rain, of snow. And so, because of that, we have so many talented photographers here in Southern Colorado. We're looking for our next Storm Tracker 13 weather book cover photo, and we're looking for your help. So please submit your pictures. You can do that on krdo.com slash contest. Not only if you are the winner will you get your photo featured on every weather book that lands itself in the hands of every single fifth grader in Southern Colorado. We're also giving away four Sky Sox tickets and a gift certificate to Jake and Telly. So quite yeah. the prize there, and I cannot wait to see all of the pictures that start streaming in. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. To pick one, though. Yeah. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, Larry Mark gave us our picture last year, and it was a phenomenal lightning picture looking for weather related photos. So, sunshine, probably not going to make the cut. Mm -hmm. Try to give us something like tornadoes, hail. Yeah. If you have a tree that got hit by lightning, things like that, that's what we're interested in. Something that's going to spark the interest of a fifth grader. Keep that in mind when you're submitting. <laughs>